there. Yes, you are watching Albert Pinto's multi-channel. If you like to watch videos on Goa's top beaches, then click those videos below. I am glad you are here watching my video today. So you are watching this video because you got one message like this as well. And you are trying to figure out how to solve this horrible error. Well, they say that these are common crawler issues. But when I got one of them, I was surprised and tensed as well. They also say that these errors can also occur when someone else is using your code on different side without your permission. Well, kind of hacking. The impressions and clicks will be still counted but will not receive the payout. So that's good because he will not be earning as it is not authorized to do so. Another reason they say is that these errors can also come due to a plugin. Hmm, so many issues. Okay, leave all that aside today and we will concentrate on how to solve the crawling issues. I will show you two methods here in this video, so keep watching further. The first method is this one, redirections of the URL. This method is only redirections and the next method is permanent removal of the URLs. It means that the URL which you don't want to be crawled again and you want to remove it permanently, this method is applicable. The first method is only redirections. I will redirect the particular URL to my original URL. I hope this is clear. Well, let's move on further. Let's go to Google AdSense dashboard. Do not click on the dismiss. Okay, click on the action button. The next one, entire sites affected uh, and there are no redirection or restricted, I mean, restricted demands. But the site is partially affected. I have only one page that is affected. Now, publisher restriction. Now, I have a no there and sometimes it can be S also now let me explain to you if the must fix column says yes or no now this particular one for me it's no it means that your site has content that falls under the google publisher restrictions while you can choose to monetize this type of content you will likely receive reduced advertising as not all ad sources will be able to bid on it I hope this is clear to you, right? Well, the publisher restriction column, which says yes. Now, must fix. If the must fix column is marked yes, then you need to take action because some of the issues are policy violations. So it means that both these uh, marked columns must be fixed anyhow because it can cause you loss of revenue. Next crawler problem, restricted demand. What does restricted demand means? Now restricted demand means you may receive enforcement due to various reasons for your content. An important thing is policy violations that must be fixed. So either way, you have to fix all the errors which you are having so let's go to the dashboard again and click on the link and this is a url that is having problem let us click on that and you see what you are getting let us see what the message says sorry you are not allowed to preview drafts 
Well, actually, to tell you the fact, I don't know how this URL has cropped up. Well, I was surprised how I got this URL because from nowhere, some funny URLs just appear with errors. Anyway, we have to fix them. So let me go to incognito window and log in to my site that is WordPress site. My net is a little slow. There you are. Well, I have logged in to my site, WordPress site. Uh, just scroll down and uh, yes, go to plugins, add new, add new plugin. I will show you which is the plugin that you have to install. Uh, redirections. That's right there. Let me show you. Yes, this is the one redirection plugin very very important because you can solve your 301 and 404 errors of redirections to plus million active installations amazing and really I tell you it's an amazing plugin you must install it fine let's go to install plugins now click on that button let's crawl down to find where it is and i think yes this is the one click on the settings there it's opening let's go down let me find the redirect and that's the one click on redirect There you can see, I've done so many redirects. Let me search where is the URL. Uh, yes, let's delete that confusing part. Let's delete that. Let me go here to my dashboard. Let me copy this URL. Go back to the WordPress dashboard down 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 yes down let's paste it into source url well this is the one that i'm going to redirect remember this is only a redirection that means i'm redirecting this particular url to my original url right because my original URL is not affected and it is working fine. I will show you in the next step. Let's find this URL. Let me go to my blog. This is the blog. Scroll down. My net is really slow, you know, it's uh, wasting time really. Yeah, this is the URL. This is the one I'll show you furthermore. That's the one. The site is about company songs, old and new songs. And let me copy that URL. Yes, let's go to WordPress dashboard and copy to the target URL, paste it. Right, it's already done. And, and here you can go to the settings, click on that. And you have how many options you have See, this is the one I'm going to move permanently. Okay, you have few options there. You can choose any one, but you have to move permanently, right? I always use this one and then you save it. Now remember this URL, I am only transferring. This is not a permanent solution to 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 disallow or something it's only redirecting this particular url to the original one the next step for permanent redirection i will show you later 
let's click on add redirect and there you can see redirection saved fine now I will explain to you the second method that is permanent removal of the URLs well you have to log into Google search console let's write Google search console there you are click on the first link opening yes it's done click on start I have been already logged in so it opened directly so yes let me go to the site man go and songs travel this is the site click on that yes just go a little further down yeah, you click on removals after clicking on clicking on removal you have to ask for a new request so you click on new request well here you can see there are two types of URL variations okay remove this URL only or remove all URLs with this prefix now let me explain to you remove this URL only it means this URL will be will be hidden in the search console for about six months only that means this URL won't be crawled for six months only but after six months the same URL will be regenerated it means it will be recrawled okay so it is not that you submit your URL here and the work is done no it's not done this is temporary temporary URL uh, suspension or or temporary URL hidden the next one is remove this all URLs with this prefix it means that this URLs if you submit it will be hidden only for 180 days and thereafter same like the first one you remove this URL only it will be regenerated I mean it will be recrawled again by Google so during this process you can always remove this uh, URLs you can cancel it you have time to cancel them in case you have solved your this particular URL issue I hope everything is clear here it's a uh, not that difficult at all so we will concentrate on the first one because for six months let us hide it so let's take the uh, the URL copy this one Let's go back and paste it here. So you can see here, you have to click on the next button. But I will not do that. I am not submitting it because I don't want to. I don't want to remove it permanently because my URL I have already redirected. So I will cancel that well let's go to WordPress dashboard and go to Yoast SEO plugin I'm sure everybody's using that fine so let's click on tools and then you have to find the file editor so click on file editor you can see here i have already told robots.txt to disallow certain urls okay so we have to 
शो और इनफॉर्म गूगल सर्च कंसोल नॉट टू क्रॉल दिस पर्टिकुलर यू आर एल अगेन सो लेट्स मेक योर वर्क इजी कॉपी दैट एंड पेस्ट इट फर्दर डाउन पेस्टेड यस लेट एस पेस्ट दैट हियर यस इट्स पेस्टेड and now we will copy the same url which we have submitted also in google search console copy that and we paste it here yes and then click on your save changes okay but again here i am not going to uh, save it because i don't want to to know why so i will cancel that one okay my friend i hope you have understood how to redirect your urls if you want to and how to remove it permanently if you want i hope this video was beneficial to you and uh, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and Don't forget to motivate me further by liking my video. Thank you for watching. Take care and bye-bye.